video for Olga Garcia Fishing and Outdoors. And today, we got a special video today. We're gonna do a review of the YoYo camera. What is the YoYo camera? It's an underwater camera for ice fishing. As you can see in the background, I used it in the last winter and turned out to be a good tool for ice fishing. Also, I'm gonna open a new product that they just released and they asked me to have a look of it, which is the panner, the underwater panner, which helping the camera to rotate 360 degrees with a remote control. So stay tuned and let's have a look in this little camera. So here's the camera guys. It comes with a nice aluminum case. Um, it's really strong or seems strong. Uh, I actually dropped it a couple of times when I was in the ice and as you can see, not many dents. I'm not saying it's in, indestructible, but you know, it's a good solid aluminum case. So that's a good thing. So once when you open, this is what you're gonna find in instructions and it comes with a little protector for your screen so you don't damage it. So that's a really nice thing to help protect the screen here. And also it comes with uh, the actual camera here. As you guys, oops, sorry for the mess here. Like I said, I used it before, so it's uh, not brand new, but I just wanna do a quick review, as I mentioned. Um, nice camera here. Uh, also comes with a little floater thing. So I'm assuming this is for a, uh, you know, if you want to cast it or something, which I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna use it for ice fishing. Here's the, the plugs for the screen. It comes really nice. Identify what cable is for. So pretty easy to set up. Also comes with the rechargeable battery. Uh, it comes with the battery, as I mentioned. Uh, the battery is rechargeable. You just plug it here. And you plug it with your output at home and then it shows you when it's charged and when it's ready to go and also to mention that it comes with extra clips here I'm not sure what is this one's for I had to read the instructions I never used it last time when I went ice fishing and it comes with this ring so you can adjust your camera depends what angle you want it so if you want it to look on a 90 degrees or if you take as you can see you can put your camera on vertical view so as I mentioned it comes with those two rings that you can adjust and comes with another extra plastics here so in case one broke this camera seems a little heavier pretty good it goes down in the eyes pretty quick right now let's have a look how we're gonna plug the camera here this thing is sliding here so hopefully it doesn't fall down okay so now it's pretty easy you just plug the battery in there as you can see screen on okay so now if you look in here you can plug the yellow with the yellow right and then you're gonna plug this cable here which is this is for the LED which I forgot to mention, also it has like a night vision or something. So, uh, I think I plug it wrong, my bad. So, this is how it works in here, boom. And then camera here, boom. This is for camera. And as you can see, camera is here. And now you can actually see me here, hi guys. I'm right here. Fortunately, this camera doesn't come with a recording choice, which it's okay or it's not okay, depending what you use is. You're paying about $200 for this camera, 200 Canadian dollars. I'm sure in America or in the United States, it's a little cheaper. Um, like I say, it's pretty solid, pretty basic. I like it, to be honest. Uh, uh, it does the job, um, help me find the fishes. Other thing that I forgot to mention is that you can actually pop this screen out. It's a little button here and another button here. And you can actually pop the screen out and you can set it up actually in a little um, 
tripod or TV stand or something. So, and it's pretty easy to put it back here. Yeah. Make sure that it goes on this on this little exit here. Sorry. So and then press it back, and that's it. And it's back. So pretty easy to put back everything together. Let's have a look now, quick on the instructions. And also, I forgot to mention, it comes with this little thing. Um, I think this is to protect the um, the um, you know when you have the camera outside so you kind of put it there and then you can see kind of dark instruction pretty straightforward um, you know pretty easy to read in English and also as I mentioned there for the bobber and then the different angles that you can do it okay to be honest this $200 camera Canadian dollar camera it's pretty good for the price it does the job for what I need which is for looking the hook set for fish and I like it to be honest it's not gonna beat any of the brand names out there I'm not saying this is better than any brand name camera I'm just giving you my personal opinion it's decent for the price it's pretty good actually for the price but it does the job and also comes with this little paper here when they uh, when I open it it came with this which actually give you a free battery I don't know if they still doing that I found this camera in Amazon and like I say they send me an extra an extra battery um, so right now I have two batteries and they actually last about six hours or seven hours each so far with one charge pretty good so let's see the footage time to open this box so this is the yo-yo underwater camera positioner so basically it's gonna help me to replace this little thing so this little tripod that you can buy in any stores the actual uh, underwater camera doesn't come with this so you have to buy it separately um, this one I pay about $20 Canadian here so basically what is going to happen is the cable is going to go here underneath and then it's going to help you to rotate the camera with this manually. So this is what is going to come handy, this new camera push positioner that they sent me. So let's have a look. Let's open it. Let's be careful with this because I'm a little mess. I always crack stuff. So first look. And if I'm not mistaken, they just release this part here, put in the garbage. So let's see what is inside the camera or the box. I mean, what is it? Where is it gonna be? Chan chan chan. I don't find how to open it. And oh, it's probably from here. There we go. So let's open it. Chun. And what we have in here, so we have the manual fishing camera rotating tripod. So this is pretty handy tripod. Oh, it seems like we're gonna have to build it in here. Instructions in there. What else we can read in here? Mm, the warranty and all that I guess I'll read it here's the instruction how it's gonna be assembled it oh and also it seems like it's gonna be some battery and they're not rechargeable so let's have a look and the other stuff this is the tripod the automatic tripod comes with a nice remote control is gonna be working right away it comes with batteries which is good also comes with this little 
I'm assuming these are for the legs so it doesn't slip over and the actual tripod for the mechanical part is in here I'm assuming this is the motor here right here and here's the button pretty simple on and on and for the batteries we're gonna be operating this thing with double A I believe so yeah some double A batteries so here is the batteries already let's put back this lid in here so see how it's gonna look in operation button is on and it's nothing that show that is actually on oh there we go it's actually a blue light inside in here every time that you uh, actually move it and you can see this thing moving now so that's what is gonna help rotating time to build it up here's the tools here's the parts let's see how easy it's gonna be to assemble this thing so time to do some surgery so Currently, these things are gonna be for tidying up the little legs, so it's gonna be easy to put them on. So these four screws, there are three legs, so they send you one extra, which is not a big deal, but it'd be nice if it would be something that you can fold right away, like in and out. That'd be something sweet instead, every time you're gonna go out putting these little screws on them. So it seems that's something that I'm not looking for especially when the temperatures are minus 20 something and you get a bunch of gloves and mittens so that's that's gonna be a problem so unless unless we're gonna leave it on all the time which is gonna be something um, that I'm not willing to do because you know I don't want to break this little leg so, as I mentioned you know it's gonna be a pain in the butt be honest no biggie we can deal with that better than nothing eh? uh, so this little panner if I'm not mistaken or this little tripod it's about $70 Canadian I believe so they're in Amazon I will put that link under my description so you guys can have a look Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be something so as you can see this is how you adjust actually this little arm here for the camera it's kind of like a click I hope so I didn't break it one little click and now let's have a look here the actual unit is working so here is and this is how it moves it moves a little bit slow right and goes this way hmm interesting so the quick demo just simple so this is what is gonna be under the water the line is gonna go through there and with the remote control it's gonna help me to rotate the camera so now instead of doing it manually we can do it ourselves with the remote control it's pretty responsive I like it the only thing that I don't like as I, men as I mentioned is the little legs and the part that this one you know you have to put it in and out but we can work with that I think it's pretty solid unit little metal so sturdy sturdy so so be honest the yo-yo camera 200 Canadian dollars worth the money for me personally good investment um, of course as I mentioned before, it's not gonna beat any of the brand name cameras that is out there. I like it, this camera, I enjoy it. I would personally buy another one for me and Sonny, so one, uh, we each can have our own, uh, our own uh, camera, so we can both, while I'm outside and he's inside the uh, ice fishing tent. Tripod, really solid, pretty sturdy, seems to me, metal. The only thing that I don't like it is that you have to put the legs. It'd be nice if you can kind of like clip it or something, you know. 
um, pretty neat unit. Let's see how it's gonna handle the temperatures of minus 20 Celsius. See if the batteries last actually. That's the other thing that I don't like or I will say it's not the best. But again, this is a new unit that they just release it. So they asked me to have a, uh, have a look of it and see how it works. So again, $200. $80, 79 something Canadians, Amazon, put the links in the description, have a look and if you guys make a decision to get one, let me know and let me know if you guys really think that this camera is worth it, $200 Canadian or it's worth it the money for you. So stay tuned for more and hopefully we can get more action on the eyes.